you have made a mistake. Please try again. Double click re navigator to begin. Expand the buildings folder. Select building 1977 over 1 with a double click to display the master data record. Before you begin processing close a navigation area. Select change. The building master record is displayed over a number of tab strips. To display all tabs available, scroll to the right and select this icon. Now select the Assignments tab. On the Assignments tab you can create and display integration assignments for the building, such as orders, functional locations, WBS elements and assets. You see that a functional location and an asset are already assigned to this building. Before you look at the asset integration in more detail, select Asset Assignment. Select the insert icon. Select asset. Via the create button in the asset detail you could now directly create a new asset for this building. You will now display the asset master data for the asset that has already been assigned to the building. Select asset 10069 over 0. Now select the display icon. The asset master record is now displayed asset accounting. The general tab displays basic information about the asset, including its name, account determination and the asset acquisition information. Select time dependent. On the time dependent tag you can see the link back to the building via the real estate key. See the PowerPoint slides in the nice to know section of the learning map to make the relevant settings in customizing to display the real estate key in the asset master record. Now select the depreciation areas tab. Here you see how the asset is to be depreciated. The building will be depreciated over 50 years as a backslash backslash map equals 1st of January 2003 equals 01.01.2003. Backslash backslash select F4 from the keyboard for an explanation of the depreciation key GD50. The asset will be depreciated according to a declining balance over the lifetime of the building. Close this window. Now select the Asset Values Push button. You may have noticed on the Asset General tab that the building was acquired in 2003. Select the arrow to scroll back to Fiscal Year 2003. The Acquisition Value is displayed. Double-click the amount to display the posting document. The posting document is displayed. The value for asset 10069 is marked in green. Select back. Select the posted values tab. Scroll to fiscal year 2004. In the lower section of the screen you can see the depreciation values that are planned and that have already been posted green light. Double click the depreciation posting for period 6.
the log for the posting run for depreciation is displayed. Both the asset number and the real estate key building are displayed. Select the posting document. Double click the accounting document. The depreciation postings for period 6 are displayed. Select back. Leave the asset values transaction. Select back once again. You have returned to the building master data record. This is the end of the tutorial. You have now displayed the building master record, displayed the assignments to asset accounting, created a new asset and displayed the master data, acquisition and depreciation values of an existing